So Squarespace just launched a brand new website design platform called the Fluid Design System. If you have a current Squarespace website that's 7.1, you can actually upgrade your sections to use the new Fluid Design System, and it's so much more flexible. You can customize how it looks on mobile even differently than on a desktop. It's really powerful. So let's check out some of the features. Now, if you're on Squarespace already and you want to know if your site is 7.1 or 7.0, when you're editing, if you see this Add Section blue button right here, you know you're on 7.1. So you'll be able to add the new Fluid Design System. I'm gonna go to a page I can play around with here and edit, and you'll see in a new section, there's now an upgrade button here. That upgrade will bring this section to the new Fluid Design System. If you create a new section, it'll already be using the new Fluid Design. You can see here, there's already some new design elements like text overlaying on an image that you couldn't do before, and it's already there. So you can use some of those templates, but let's play around. The whole basis of the system is a new grid design. Previously, when you added Squarespace blocks, you kind of had to put them next to each other and split the view. You can have up to 12 blocks previously, but they weren't very flexible. Now with the new Fluid System, when I want to add a block, let's say I want to add an image block. Now you say, I already have content on this page, but if I want to add a block, let's say I want to add an image block, when I drag it over now, you'll see a brand new grid system. And I can actually drop this image block literally wherever I want. Previously, you would have had to like put next to a block to create a column or underneath or above to create a new row. But here, I can actually just drop it, and it's overlapping the text block I already had and the video embed. So let me actually put an image here so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to click an image already in my library, and now you can see that image is already overlapping, and I can really granularly place this image wherever I want in this grid. I can even increase the size of this block, dragging from the corner. If you didn't know before, this is a big deal. And also, they have this new bring to backward or bring front. So if I want to put this image behind something, I can click that and it'll actually move that block behind another one, kind of a different layer, and I can bring it up to the front. So cool. Again, I can make this larger. And let's say I actually want to drag this down. Let me drag this down the grid and I'll place the image. So I can still place things just like before with space within the grid. Now let's say I want to make this text overlap the image. Let me make this a header text so it's a little bigger. Let me align it left. And now you can see I can drag this image over and it will be, right now it's above the text, but I can do that send to back, and now the text is over the image. Very cool. I can even shrink this text box, so if I want the text to be more wrapped like that and then move the image under, just so cool. You can also adjust the grid layout. So if I click Edit Section here, so I can actually increase the amount of rows in the grid, so if I need a little more space in this individual section, I can close the gaps, so now there's no more gaps in where I can place an image. Everything is part of the grid now, so you can change that. And you still have all those powerful background tools. So if I want to add a video as the background of this section, I can do that. I can use like a Vimeo or YouTube link and it'll actually do a background image. Let's see how that goes. Look at that. So now I actually have <laughs> waterfall motion background image. Again, you could do inset full bleed. Those options were there previously. You can also adjust the spacing and gaps between the rows and columns. So if you want a little more space between your grids, so when I drag this over, and drop it here, you can see that space. And when I edit that space between the grid, it will adjust between the different blocks. Very flexible. Let's try a couple other blocks. So if we add a gallery block, well, I can have a gallery of images that overlap, place that wherever I'd like, place the text, bring it to front. Really cool. Let me try, you can do accordion items, which is nice if you have like frequently asked questions you wanna use in Squarespace. Let me actually go down to the summary block because I use the summary block all the time. So for the summary block, Let's say I want to pull in some of my articles. So I'm going to pull in from the blog. Wow, okay, so let me move some of the stuff around. You can bring stuff all the way to the edge of the screen also. Very cool. Let me get rid of this text block. It's kind of in the way. And here's my summary block. I can actually increase the size of the summary block without even jumping into the block settings. I can just drag the edges, drag the corners. Really nice. Again, I could change the style of the summary block to that carousel. If I wanted this image to be under some of the text, look at that, I can do that, or bring it to front. It would be on top of the summary block. And not only that, but you can actually jump into the mobile view. Here I can adjust the sections and even adjust the grid on the mobile specifically. Jump back over to desktop, and you'll actually see it's different. It's actually retained the different layout where the different divider line is than with the mobile. You see all the mobile stuff is now down here where it's on the top on the desktop side. So you have this granularity if you want things to look or be in a different order on a mobile side when someone's looking at this same web page but on their phone, you can do that and it will be different 
than the desktop view. Let's check out some of the section designs that are now built in. I'm going to use some of these image overlays. A lot of times having images overlaid was could be a challenge in some of the previous versions of Squarespace, but now I can literally drag this title, drag this button wherever I want to place it. Let me align this to the right. I can place that anywhere in the grid, place the button wherever I want. I don't have to worry about center and left alignment. I'm actually going to drag this box out so it's all on one line there with the button. And then if I want to add an image block, I can just drag that right here, add an image. And then I can drag that image anywhere I want, even overlap it with the text and the button, send it to the back. I'll move backward again. And let's maybe change the color of this text. So I can have overlapping buttons, images, and text all here within the grid. And I can just drag it wherever I want on the page. Let's see what it looks like on mobile. And then I can make sure to adjust it on mobile to make sure everything is lined up properly. Even dragging the image on top here on mobile. I can even put this image in the corner and put the button over here on mobile. Everything still aligns because it is still a grid. So everything still snaps. So it looks nice, super flexible. Making those full image banners or even rotating banners is going to be a lot easier. Let me try one more thing because I use a lot of audio blocks. I've actually shown people how to use Squarespace for podcasting. So let me drag an audio block on here. And if I drag the audio block, wow, I can put that wherever I'd like also in the grid. So building websites on Squarespace with the new fluid design system has just gotten supercharged, really flexible, love the new grid system. I'm going to be playing around with it with some of my websites. Again, you can upgrade current sections that you've already built if you're on Squarespace 7.1. And as you add new sections, they'll have that grid fluid design layout. So cool. If you want me to go more in depth on the fluid design system or anything in Squarespace, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you there. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Steven Robles and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.